It's time to give your laptop more battery life. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. This year, we are seeing more hybrid PCs. For example, laptops that can be used as a tablet when you separate the screen. Asus just showed off one coming later this year called the Transformer Book Trio. It's a Windows 8 laptop and also an Android tablet. Well, these kinds of devices could demand more battery. So Intel has announced it has a new line of processors arriving to computers this year that will increase battery life and give computers better graphics performance. In short, if you're not in a hurry to buy a computer, wait a few months. These fourth generation Intel processors are just starting to arrive in new computers and by the fall, most PCs should have them. But how do you know it's a fourth generation Intel chip? Next to the markings for Core i7 or Core i5, Make sure the next string of numbers starts with a 4 for fourth generation. As for what's new in Windows 8, how about the ability to require a fingerprint to open a file folder? If you have a computer that has a built-in fingerprint scanner, you'll be able to use fingerprint access in more ways. The Windows 8.1 update is coming later this year, and it'll also have more features that appeal to business users. Microsoft is also adding a Start button type shortcut icon to the desktop mode, as well as the ability to save files directly to the cloud on SkyDrive. And speaking of Windows, the game Halo is coming to Windows 8 8 and Windows Phone 8. Next month, it will be the first Halo game designed to work on a touchscreen. The game is called Halo Spartan Assault. The app costs seven bucks. You can control it with finger taps and swipes on the screen. Instead of first person, you play in a bird's eye view to complete 25 missions. The story is set between Halo 3 and Halo 4. Dora and Spongebob have moved off Netflix to Amazon Prime Instant Video. Amazon made a deal with Viacom for the rights to show thousands of episodes of popular shows from Nick Jr., MTV, and Comedy Central. Netflix, meanwhile, has the rights to Disney shows and movies. A new portable gaming device will arrive in stores next week on June 11th. It's the Wikipad, an Android-based gaming tablet that snaps into a game controller frame. The Wikipad had a failed attempt at a launch last Halloween, but now the creators have updated some features, like shrinking it to an 8-inch screen and also shrinking the price to $250 instead of charging the original price of $500 for the larger 10-inch model. That's your Tech News Update. You can find more details on these stories at CNET.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.